Welcome, I'm Rose Oatley, and today I'm going to show you how to make Spanish rice. I'll give you some tips so that you could get that perfect Tex-Mex restaurant-style rice. First, you want to start by chopping and dicing one quarter of an onion. I'm also going to cut two slices of jalapeno. Now, this is optional, and it's very mild. If you like it spicy, then you can add a little more jalapeno or even substitute it with some red pepper flakes. All right, so here's your first tip. When you're cooking Spanish rice, you got to use a pan that has its own lid. You don't want to use a lid too small or too large for your pan because that will ruin your rice completely. You need one that fits perfectly with your pan. You want to add two tablespoons of olive oil to your pan. Add one cup of long grain rice. And I'll go ahead and add a picture above of the brand that I use. By the way, I'm cooking at medium to medium high heat. We're going to mix and cook this until it's nice and toasted. You'll notice it kind of turning a little different color. You just want it kind of like a light golden brown. Just make sure you don't burn it, of course. Once lightly toasted, you want to add your onions and your jalapenos. Let's give this a mix and saute for about one minute. I'm going to come in with some salt and pepper, and this is going to be to your taste. I'm also adding one teaspoon of garlic powder. I don't usually add cumin to my Spanish rice, but if you like, you can even add one teaspoon of cumin. Now, what I do like to add is one packet of powdered chicken bouillon. They come in a box in little packets like this. If you have the cubes, you can use that too. Just crumble the cube and add it in there. I'm going to add one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Now you can also use just half a can of tomato sauce. That'll work as well. I usually like to put the whole can. Now you wanna add two cups of hot water. Now this is your next tip. Your water should be hot. Now, if you can't get it hot in your faucet, open up your faucet ahead of time so your water can get hot enough. Or stick your cup in the microwave to get it hot. Oh yeah, you want it caliente. <laughs> and you want to let it sit for just a little bit until you see it come to a boil, which is going to happen fairly quick, as you can see. Cover it with your lid, making sure it's nice and tight. Turn your heat down to low, and we're going to cook for 30 minutes on low heat. Here's your next tip. Do not come back before the 30 minutes and remove your lid to check on your rice or to come stir your rice, making sure everything's okay. That's going to ruin your rice. Let it cook for the complete 30 minutes before you remove the lid. All right, so I've got six minutes to go before my rice is done, but I wanted to give you a sneak peek so that you're not tempted to pick up the lid. See, this is what the, look, the rice looks like before your six minutes are up. So we're still fine. The water is being absorbed. 30 minutes has always worked for me. Now you could probably get away with 25 minutes too. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes. Let's check on our rice. Next thing you want to do is grab a fork and start fluffing it up. Now, I'm using a spoon here because I've done it so many times, but I recommend that you use a fork. Otherwise, you can easily mush it up if you've never done it before. Now, another reason why I like to fluff it up is because the tomato sauce sometimes will settle at the top or in certain areas, and then sometimes you see little white spots around. So I like to just kind of give it a mix with a fork to make sure everything is nice and even. After you fluff it up, make sure that you remove it from the heat and just go ahead and put your lid on top and let it sit with the lid for about five minutes before serving. These are the different things that have really helped me perfect my rice. I hope that these tips will help you too. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos and please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.